All right, I ran out of time in our last uh, video, um, so I'll just get straight back into it. Bring that back. Actually, what I might do to save time is while I'm here, I'll just um, do that and then invert. So there we go. Okay. And there we go. Now the reason I have uh, two of these ribs here is that um, on these edges um, I have one on either side but um, you have to remember that this edge is going to be butting up against uh, this edge on another one of these um, static meshes um, in a continuous sort of tunnel. Uh, so where this one meets um, the next mesh, there's going to be another rib here. So this just sort of makes it look a little bit more even. Now um, the the thing is, if we um, if we wanted these to repeat perfectly, um, then uh, we really didn't need this half of our mesh. Um, and so what I'm actually going to do is um, change the uh, the details in here to be symmetrical across here just so that it repeats in a nice sort of alternating pattern uh, when we have multiples of this mesh in here. So yeah, the uh, next thing that I want to do is uh, in much the same way as the normal map here won't uh, tile um, flawlessly across static meshes, neither will the um, normal map here and here. So I'm just going to add details here, um, much like the ribs here, in order to uh, to make it look like um, we've um, we have this um, section of the mesh uh, curving around and tucking into a groove here. So. Um, pretty much the, the same as uh, how we did the um, uh, the uh, the ribs. I'm just going to make sure that is what we can see. I'm just going to rotate to a, a, a top-down sort of view and I'll mask off this um, set here, this, this set of polys and bring those back invert hide and reverse mask the rotation of the object can be a little bit um, uh, confusing if you're used to Maya or other 3D programs, but um, hopefully you should get the hang of it. Now there's um, a couple of ways that we can do this. I'm just going to try a basic inflate here and let's see how it looks with another one. So yeah, we've got that sort of um, that there. I might try a smooth as well, just to bring the contrast down on these ribs along here. So yeah, that's looking a bit better. Yep, that will do for that one. And now we'll do the top here. And so I'll unmask that, hide the rest of it, turn off perspective, make sure we're lined up with the grid, we're lined up with an axis I should say. Okay. And I'll make it those there. What I can do to save time is um, with this 
section here before we invert the mask I can hold down control and alt and we have a uh, minus mask or subtract from mask um, setting and that will um, save us having to uh, do that afterwards so it's that there and invert the mask okay and we can inflate there now you notice that the um, this section here is actually um, only uh, one uh, poly high uh, at its uh, at the midpoint at that sort of uh, rounded ridge there whereas this one was two polys high uh, this is uh, actually intentional we want we want there to be some contrast between this one and this one and we're also um, going to have um, these ridges a little bit more um, pronounced we can smooth it down a little bit. We'll smooth it down to 50 instead of the 100 that we used on the other one. 51 will be fine. Um, actually, before that, I might put some more ridges here just to give it a sort of a striated or a um, or a ribbed um, sort of uh, uh, section there to give it a sort of a bony or a spine-like um, look to it. So I will take off that mask and just that section. I'm going to mask off alternating sections of this. The reason I'm uh, masking alternating sec sections is that if I do sections that are side by side um, there's going to be nothing to um, for the system to know that we don't want to actually affect this line of points here it'll just boost them all together but I'm sure you've you've already worked that out So with those there, just going to inflate that, just to sort of get those up to a similar level to the um, to the ones next to them. In fact, they're a little bit high, so that last inflate might just make that uh, something like 50. That looks pretty good. And then we just repeat that for the sections that we've missed. And and this is another one of those situations where I do tend to concentrate and forget about talking for a while. And I'm sure that there are a lot of people out there that are happy that that's the case. So, that, that, hide that, bring that back and reverse that. And now if we inflate that 100 and then another 50, there we go, we have those nice sort of ridges there. And so that's the, uh, the start of our shape.